Hello guys, it's Courage here and you're welcome to my channel. So in this video, I am going to be answering most of your questions and we're going to be looking into engaged shoppers. All right, we're going to be discussing if you should use the engaged shoppers, how you should use the engaged shoppers and when to make use of the engaged shoppers when creating Facebook ads at the targeting level. That is when you are targeting your audiences. Should you use the engaged shoppers and at what point is it right to use the engaged shoppers okay guys and um, please give this video a thumbs up that's all i'm going to ask of you the more likes this video gets the more people get to see it and if you are new to this channel and you'd like to see more content like this consider subscribing and turn on the bell icon so you get notified whenever i post helpful videos just like this one so without wasting time let's get started and the best way to go about this is of course to demonstrate to show you exactly what we are talking about in case you do not have a better understanding so we go on to create an ad. So we take our conversion objective, of course. So without doing any other thing, we'll go straight to the ad set level, which is where the engaged, which is, which is where we do the targeting. Right now we are at the ad set level, okay? So you come down to the targeting um, options here. Of course, remember that when you are using the conversion objective, you always have to optimize for purchase at this conversion event. Here, you can see this conversion event, you optimize for purchase. You optimize for purchase here. That is, if you have a product to sell. So having said that, we come down here to the engaged shoppers to target to detail targeting to detail targeting and then you click on edit you should know that before now you must have you know targeted your the accurate location the right location of your audience their age their genders but our focus is not on that we are going to focus mainly on how to make use of the engaged shoppers to get better results for your facebook ads so you click on edit here at the top, at the right, right side here. So here, you click on edit here. And let's now assume that you are a cake vendor. Probably you want to run an advert to target people who are interested in cakes. Okay. To target people who are interested in cakes. So we can say, we can type kick here, interest level. That is a detailed targeting. Okay. So we type kick. Interest, you can see here, interest. We type kick. So now, if you check the number of our potential reach here, if you look at our potential reach here, we have this ad has a potential of reaching um, 34 million people here. So we are targeting cakes. Now, how do you use the engaged shoppers to make sure or to ensure that you get better results for your ad? That is, you, your ad is shown to people who are most likely, who are most likely, who have demonstrated that effectiveness who have demonstrated that likelihood of clicking on your ad and purchasing what you sell so you don't come and add the engaged shoppers here all right let me show you something if you add engaged shoppers remember engaged shoppers is a behavior here if you add engaged shoppers here look here right you still have this 34 million potential reach. So we're going to remove this engaged shoppers here instead. And then we come here and click on narrow audience. You see that you click on narrow audience and then we narrow to engaged shoppers. Narrow to engaged shoppers. Just so you have a, a perfect understanding of what this engaged shoppers is. I'm going to let you see it here. 
in gift shop as here. This is a purchase behavior, as you can see by Facebook. It says it's a behavior, a purchase behavior. People who have clicked on the call to action button shop now in the past week. Okay, so by using by optimizing your adverts, right? By using the by narrowing down to engaged shoppers, you are going to be showing your adverts to people who are interested in what you are targeting, which is key. But people who are who have actually clicked on the shop now button in the last seven days. All right, these are people who have demonstrated that desire, demonstrated that effort, demonstrated that you know tendency of making purchase so your advert is going to be shown to people who have demonstrated this purchase behavior of clicking on the call to action button shop now on facebook this is an this is an in-app behavior the engage shoppers is an in-app behavior it is a behavior that happens within facebook all right now whether they go to whether they go ahead to your store to your um to your website or to your landing page or to your funnel whether they go ahead and purchase what you're selling facebook is not keeping track of that in this engage shoppers section all right what facebook is recording is people who have clicked on the shop now button in the past seven days so for now we're targeting people who are interested in cake but they have clicked on the shop now button in the past seven days so we narrow down to engage shoppers and then we select engage shoppers now it is going to reduce our potential reach it is going to reduce our potential reach now you can see that from 34 million people that we had in the potential reach what we have now is just about i think 3.8 million people here do you see what we have done we've been able to you know take off take off so many people in the audience in the cake audience who are most likely not going to be interested in what you are selling because for the past seven days they've not clicked on the shop now button and now our audience have been reduced drastically from 34 million people to just 3.8 million people so when we set it, set up this ad and run this ad this ad is going to to be shown to cake lovers people who love cake who over the period of seven days have clicked on shop now button on Facebook or Instagram or any platform that is owned by Facebook, basically Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Now let me show you something else that is interesting because our location here is Nigeria. Let's take off this cake. Let's take off this cake and just leave the engaged shoppers. It brings our audience to 34 million potential reach. All right. Now we take this off also. Our audience is still here. So we will just say let's target engaged shoppers. We still have this 34 million can you see it can you see what happened so when you target your audience when you target the main audience that you want to target the best way to use the engage shopper is to narrow it down is to narrow it down by the way many of you have asked many of you who have tried to run adverts after following my tutorial i've been asking i've been seeing different interface in your in your own uh, ads manager do not worry it's nothing you know most times facebook do you know do just um rollouts or do test different interface it does not stop the process the process is still the same thing even if you see a different interface from if if your own interface is different from mine it does not mean anything right sometimes facebook can just test new interface they can just map out about eighty thousand nine thousand people give them a different interface just to test and see people's reaction before they now make it public or make it general so if your own interface is different from this, do not worry. The process is still the same thing. So let's go back to cake. Cake, interests. And then we narrow down to engaged shoppers. Look at our 
potential reach here, 34 million people. Big shopper's behavior. Then it has reduced our potential reach to 3.8 million people. Okay. It has reduced our potential reach to 3.8 million people. So how do you use this, this uh, engage shoppers? Now, if you are selling products that are, you know, the kind of regular products that, you know, we get almost everywhere and at all time, kind of, um, say, products like clothes, shoes, household items, furniture, jewelry, stuff like that. Yes, you can use the engaged shoppers, all right? Because these are products that people buy regularly. If you sell thrifts, clothes, bags, shoes, just regular products, household items, kitchen items, you know, stuff like that, right? You can use, you can narrow down to engaged shoppers. But then if you're selling products that are more niche specific, or if you're selling services, you may not have to, you may not need to use the engaged shoppers. If you're selling services, if you're selling products that are more mostly niche specific, you may not actually need to use the engaged shoppers because it might not have a lot of data compared to the more broader, you know, more broader niche or more broader industry. Okay. So now when you are using the engaged shoppers, okay, the reason why most people use the engaged shoppers is that you are most likely to get a higher conversion rate when you use an, when you use the engaged shoppers because you're targeting people who have demonstrated that um, who has demonstrated that purchase behavior of clicking on shop now button. Okay. So you are most likely to have a higher, in fact, it, has, it, it is proven actually in most of the adverts that we have tested and we have run, we have been able to generate more, more conversion, more sales when we target engaged shoppers. Okay. Remember that the targeted audience that is narrowed down to engage shoppers will get you a better result than an audience that is not narrowed down. But the only issue, the only issue with this is that when you use the engaged shoppers, the cost per conversion tends to be higher. Your cost per conversion would be higher when you use the engaged shoppers because many other people are bidding for that same audience, for that same engaged shoppers. You understand there are so many other advertisers who are using that engaged shoppers in their own advert at their in their own targeting at their ad set level they are using that engaged shoppers so all of us all of you are targeting the engaged shoppers therefore the competition is high and the cost per conversion will go up sometimes up to 50 percent it goes up right so that is just the only thing. When you say that your cost per conversion is getting higher and higher, it's because the most you are targeting um, an a set of audience that many other people are also targeting. So it makes the cost per conversion to go higher. All right, that is one of the downsides. But apart from that, if you are in profit, if the sales you are making are in profit and it covers your ad spend, then by all means, please go on and use the engaged shoppers right then another thing that you should do as an advertiser as a business owner or as someone who desires to get better results from facebook ads is that you should always test you should always test okay you the, the more you test the better you find that advert that will give you the best results Okay, it is always advisable that you always test. And for using these engaged shoppers, there are two ways that you can test. You can test in two ways. The first, the first is to test, of course, at the ad set level, you are using the same ad. But at the ad set level, the first is to test your audience, the main audience you're targeting, and then the engaged shoppers, just like this one is now. Just like this one, exactly the way this one is. You test, you run an advert with this one, Okay, and then you create, and then you duplicate it, right? And then, you know, go ahead and create another advert, removing the engaged shoppers. For instance, you're targeting cake, and then you narrow down to engaged shoppers. The advert is, you set up the advert, and then you duplicate that same ad and come down to this 
um, ad set level and then you remove the engage shoppers and target just kick. You run the advert for two weeks so that the advert must have generated enough data to, um, for you to compare, right? So after two weeks, you now compare both ads to see which one is giving you a better result. That is one way, one of the ways of testing. Like I said, I'm going to give you two ways of testing. So when you do, do the ad like this, just exactly the way I've left this one, you run the advert, you duplicate it, and then you come down to this place and then you remove, you take off the engage shoppers, and then you run the advert with just your audience kick. After two weeks, you come and check out the results that you have gotten so far. You, you, you know, you analyze the data to find out which one is giving you the best results. How, the only downside kind of here is that your ads will be competing against each other your ads to be competing against each other right which might in a, in a way affect your ad apart from that the next way that the other way that you can actually test is to set up this one run it for one week or two then after another one week you run an, another advert by removing just this one right and run it for a week of two a week or two then compare both and see which one is giving you the best results but always remember that when you run ads it is best to have a more larger audience than a smaller audience, okay? It is best to have a larger audience than a smaller audience because the larger audience gives, tends to perform better. The larger audience tends to perform better than the smaller audience. The smaller audience easily um, gets something we call ad fatigue, all right? The smaller audience can easily get ad fatigue, whereas the larger audience, you might not even exhaust the audience. So when you have an audience of say 100,000 people, 50,000, 200,000, it's quite small. So you might, you are likely to experience, your advert is likely to experience ad fatigue over a period of time, maybe a short period of time. But when you have a larger audience, you just might not exhaust the audience and you have the option and then you have a better chance of scaling. When you have a larger audience, you have a better chance of scaling. Okay, so yes, that is exactly how to use the engage shoppers. And please note that when you are retargeting, when you are retargeting, there is no need using engaged shoppers. When you are retargeting, you just use your retargeted audience and let your ad fly. Okay, so if you have any question about this um, very topic, please feel free to drop them in the comment section and I'll be there to attend to all your questions and if you'd like to learn more on facebook ads instagram ads even how to run ads on whatsapp i've made a series of videos on that i will link it in the description below and then you can check up you can check out my channel go to the um go to my check out my channel now on the playlist section you're going to see the facebook ads and instagram marketing playlist i have tons of videos on facebook ads instagram sponsored ads whatsapp ads you can just watch these videos, you know, learn how to create adverts for your business, learn how to target the right audiences for your business and how to make sales using Facebook adverts. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I will be there to answer your questions. Of course, if you know anyone that will find this video helpful, share it with them, please. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.